In this video, we will quickly learn how to create a pull request in Azure DevOps. If you see my screen, this is Visual Studio Code and I have got some Terraform configurations written. This is cloned from my Azure DevOps repo. I'm on my main branch and while doing a git pull, I can see my local main is up to date. Let me create a new feature branch. So I will do git checkout hyphen B and the feature. So I have switched to the new branch feature 01. I'll make some changes to my code. So if you are a you know team member and you pulled a fresh repository from Azure DevOps, you create your own branch that you'll be working on. Then you make changes and then you do a push to the remote repository. So this is my uh, Azure websites.tf. Let me make some changes. I'll just add a quick comment. Let me add this particular comment here. And once the comment has been uh, like once my code changes have been done, I'll save the file and then I'll do a push. I'll show you how you do that in Visual Studio Code. So the changes have been made. And now I'll save it. You will see this, the branch, you know, this icon here and it will show you a pop up. Let me stage the changes. Give a message for the commit. Click commit and publish the branch. Behind the scenes, it would just push my, you know, branch that I've created. Let me refresh the branches and you can see we have updated feature 01 just now you can either create a pull request from here or you can go to pull requests and create a pull request from here on the top you will see the feature uh, branch 01 into main that's the merge that will happen you give the title you can give the description you can add a reviewer you can check the files and the commits on the right side of the overview. You can add the reviewers. You can add a work item. If you have a task or an issue assigned uh, which you are fixing, you will link that here. You can give it a tag. and then create a pull request. You can see on my right side, the work item is linked. You can see the description and the checks that are happening behind the scenes. So I've got a Sonar Cloud Code Analysis uh, build pipeline uh, that has been, you know, uh, configured in my branch policies. So if this build completes successfully, there are quality gates in my Sonar Cloud. And if that passes, it will allow me to, you know, uh, complete this pull request. When you are an approver, you will go and check all these things, whether uh, all the you know conditions have been satisfied. And then you go into the files next to the overview and see the code changes. You will do the proper code review. You'll see what the changes, uh, what are the changes that are being made. And once you are satisfied, you can approve the PR. If you see our required checks have passed successfully, the quality gate has passed. So now if you see the only thing missing is the reviewer must approve. Once approved, the PR can be completed. These are the merge types. The post completion options. 
if you want you can complete the work item that was linked i don't want to do that you can delete the feature branch that you have created so you want uh, all you know feature branches should be short lived so that's a good practice and once the pr is completed your feature 01 branch has been merged into main if you see my current active branches there are there is just one that is main and once merged if you have you know continuous deployment configured it would kick in the continuous deployment pipeline this is where you can see all your active completed and abandoned pull requests thanks for watching and keep supporting